And now the next step is gonna to be to tell Facebook what kind of customer actions on our website should be tracked so that we can then use that data to optimize our ads. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the three lines here, all tools, and then go to events manager here. Here, let's click on manage prioritized events. And here we're gonna set up our events for both of these domains. So let's start with the first one here. Click on manage events, then click on edit. And now we can add up to eight different events and prioritize them as well. So we need to tell Facebook what is the most important event that we want to track on our site. So the most important event would be to it would be a purchase, a conversion on our store. So let's first choose the pixel here that is tracking all the events, which would be this one that we have already installed. And then we're gonna choose the event name. So this would be purchase right here. And then we're gonna choose another event. So choose the same pixel and we're gonna use initiate checkout here and then add another one, same pixel. This one is gonna be add to cart and then another event, which is gonna be view content right here. So again, these are gonna be the events, the actions that people do on our website so that we can use that data to optimize our campaign. The event of a purchase has the highest priority because eventually that's our goal to get people on our store and purchase our products. And then we have initiate checkout, add to cart and view content. So it's basically the customer journey from getting to our store to buying something. First, somebody views a product and then they add it to the cart then they initiate checkout and then they purchase the product. So let's click on apply and save the changes, confirm and apply. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other domain as well. So just manage events, edit, and then add all the, the, all the four events based on the priority here as well as we've just done before. When that's done, click on apply, confirm, apply. And now we actually wanna go and check if all the events that we have just set up for this pixel are working on our store. So let's go back to the events manager. And then here we make sure our current pixel is selected and then we go to test events. Then here we just choose the URL of our store and then click on open website. And now we are a new visitor on our website. So the Facebook pixel should already have been triggered. So we can now go back to the events manager and under test events, we can see we have a new page view. So our pixel is in fact working. So now let's go back to the page again and then maybe click on t-shirts here and then click on one of the products. And now again, we go back to the events manager and see what pixel uh, event has been firing. So we have two page views and then one content view, which represents somebody looking at one of our products. And now we can also just click on add to cart here. And now when we go back to the events manager, we can see the, uh, the add to cart event has also been fired. So the idea is to just go through the entire checkout process and see if all the events are working. Now you don't actually need to go ahead and buy your own product just to see if the purchase event is working because you're gonna notice on your store if you get a sale anyway and if you don't see it on Facebook, then you know that the purchase event is not working.